guys, this is episode two of the Summoners or Beginner's Guide, but for RTA. And today we'll be talking about the team that you can use for RTA because this is a very common question that everybody asks for RTA because in this game, we build team for everything. Dungeon, guild defense, arena offense. We can use a set team for a set purpose. But in RTA, it is very, very dynamic. You cannot just bring in five units and use the same five units it all the time unless you are a legend player with five broken ld5 then you can probably do that but for rta it is the drafting it is the counter picking that is going to make the difference for most people so a lot of people will send a screenshot of the box if you are lucky a lot of people just ask what is a good rta team or they will list like five units and ask is this a good rta team but it is much more complicated than that. So for this video, I'll go through different RTA team that you can use. What will be your last pick? What are the different counter picks that you can use for set team? And maybe this will hopefully answer what is a good RTA team. So the core for the first team you're seeing on screen right now will be Oliver Mouse Raccoonie. So this is a very popular core team at the moment. It might not be in the future if they decide to do something about Mouse Raccoonie, but this is really good because you have a speed lead, you have a water damage dealer that helps to counter the fire unit that will counter Oliver, and you have a healer that is Raccoonie that is good in almost every situation in RTA because it heal, cleanse, and give you an additional turn. So Raccoonie is perfect for Miles to allow it to do more damage or to pair with any other last pick you decide to use so that it will give that unit an additional turn. So to counter this trio, people usually pick Leo or they ban out Mouse and they pick strong AoE unit because you'll be left with no stripper. So to further strengthen the team, you will need high impact unit. If you want to control the enemy because they are going heavy immunity, you pick unit like Juno Praha because Juno can really counter Oliver as well. And you'll pick strong AoE like Wind Rubble, Karno, or if you want to go first with the 33 speed that you already stole from the enemy, you go with Segment. If they're going with no stripper, because because some people really do. You pick heavy immunity unit like Wusa. If you don't have one, you can go with Lulu, Riley, or whatever immunity you want to use, or Shizuka. And if they really pick a lot of unit to counter mouse like wind unit, and they ban a Raccoonie or Oliver, then you want to last pick strong fire like Fire Monkey King to counter whatever they're trying to use to counter you. As you can see, we have the same three unit every single game, but the last two will be the one that make the most difference. So it will really depend on what they are banning from the first three unit that you are picking so you know what to pick in the next two and because you are already covering three different elements the versatility in the last two pick can be amazing because you don't have really an elemental weakness in the first three especially mouse who is pretty much an ld unit so it makes your team even more versatile so this team is really really good for most people what you really learn is to pick the last two units and how to counter the enemy team properly. Next up, we have the Summoner Sword Classic More Chung Pung. In two units, you have already covered two AoE Stripper and two AoE CC units. That's why these two units always go together and they are extremely strong. And you might pick a third Stripper in the form of Robo, in the form of Hei Gang, in the form of Zima, in the form of anything. Any LD Stripper you have, you can use here as well. And the last two units will be either strong follow-up unit or immunity or speed lead or vert because vert in more chung pung combo is really good it doesn't have to be on swell it can be on revenge violent whatever because the moment you go around the enemy team with so many turn their counterplay with immunity unit or unit that is immune to stun is going to be meaningless because with these two units combined with a robo a verat or a teor or if you are going about win unit, then you can pick Charlotte, Gany, and you are constantly reducing the enemy attack bar. This is the attack bar control kind of team, right? So with Vert, your attack bar control will be even stronger. So with this sort of combination, you'll be going around the enemy team, trying to control the attack bar as soon as possible and trying to use the defense break from the Chung Pung or with the whatever defense breaker you got, you will control the enemy the entire match. This is the CC meta that a lot of people are trying to go for. If they try to outspeed you, you need to run up certain high base speed unit like Sakmet, Zibala, Ethna, or Asher. For most people, Asher is going to be the most free to play high base speed unit. I forgot to put Asher on this 
slide right here but Asher is very important if you want to go high base speed but for people who draft this team the biggest mistake that you do is you will be over contesting speed when enemy is not trying to go first at all so what you usually do that make you fail in this team is you are picking double speed lead and high base speed unit that you don't have to okay if you're seeing the enemy going in with no speed lead they're going with high passive unit like monkey king and Gio and camilla and you are still committing in high speed unit for no reason you will not have enough control for the enemy these two units already cover two strip okay a lot of people pick a chiwu and an esher after that and the enemy is like i'm going turn two why are you trying to go first you need to pick high impact cc that's going to be unit like Teor, Verat. If you're going water, if you're going wind, you need Charlotte, Ganymede, and maybe an Oliver. Uh, actually, I don't, I don't really pick Oliver into this, but big AOE that cannot strip, but AOE big. If you're going fire, you need Rika, Belenus, and Karno. They are all strong AOE unit without strip because they have high impact AOE. You need those units when you are trying to fight a turn 2 player. Don't fight a turn 2 player with more stripper and more high base speed because the thing about high base speed unit is that their CC is not impactful. Zibala is very good at trying to get you turn 1, but he's not very good at fully controlling enemy. You desperately need slow debuff and cool time increase because if you go into a match with a cc team like this and you don't increase enemy cool time and you don't slow them down one violent proc you lose instantly okay don't go in with a plan where one violent proc from the enemy will ruin your plan because it will happen shizuka karno whatever nonsense they're using an aoe cleanser like annabelle or nikki one violent proc it will change the game constantly so remember, don't over contest speed when you don't need to do it. Next up, we have my team that I used to fight in the end of the last RTA season. The core will be the double bison. So Karno and Cigar, these two units, very tanky, have good control. They are weakened into accuracy, if I'm not wrong. So ruining them with speed HP, HP is much easier to have good accuracy on them. They do good damage. Cigar has defense break. So I will be fighting Oliver, Miles, Rakuni all the time. So I have a slow debuff here. I have a unit that can potentially reset Oliver so that I'll be okay. So they go first. I will go with my Hey Gang to potentially give me more attack bar and my Juno as well to potentially give me more attack bar combined with Hey Gang. And I will go with unit with slow debuff like Chandra, Annabelle, Camilla control the raccoonie and the mouse and i can potentially spread the debuff with tomoe fire monkey is a fire unit that is very hard to counter even if you are drafting water because he's so fast he heal himself and he can crit your water unit as well so fire monkey is almost an ld unit he is still restricted by the stupid law of element unlike the water sky surfer mouse that doesn't really care this guy is really really good i pick him almost all the time because he can become really fast with okay ish rune he doesn't need to be crazily rune to be really really good so this is my core that i used in the last rta season i love using it because going turn one for me is very hard this is a way to go turn two with dao heavy passive with the ragdoll I, i'm still going turn two most of the time but i use unit like these to try to survive and can also do some debuff on the enemy this is a core that i used to run a whole lot it based around jamaya shizuka and segment so what is this this is the big impact aoe and the jamaya to reset those set big impact aoe so with segment you are potentially threatening one of the enemy stripper segment will go first reset the enemy violent or despair stripper because a swift segment will have no problem doing so and you have shizuka to protect your team with immunity and jamaya to allow you to do it over again and because segment bring defense break jamaya as a support unit you can root it on speed hp hp with high crit rate and jamaya with the buff coming from shizuka you can potentially get a speed buff from praha or whatever speed buff on the field and jamaya can hit like a truck with defense break so with this team you want to pick heavy strong impact aoe and rely on jamaya a lot of people don't ban jamaya because they want to get their strip they will usually ban the segment or ban the praha because Praha will be the only healer so jamaya usually get to stay and he'll be there to reset your unit and he's a great counter to chung Peng and oliver because they can't reset jamaya's skill so jamaya will be there to give all these strong aoe unit another round of the aoe and that is usually very very good i use the strategy on raigeki account 
and it is amazing. You've probably seen me play with this strategy before as well. Next up, we have the Vanessa core. As you can see, your first pick can be any of the five star speed lead because they can be built into many different teams and they don't tell the enemy what you are really doing. So with Vanessa leader, you need unit that have high base speed to really utilize the 33% speed lead. She is a stripper defense breaker as well. So you can use her with many other damage dealer like the Chimera that can be fun too. But personally, I'll see a lot of Vanessa Cigar. If the enemy go with more Chung Fung, or Oliver Mao. You will go with Vanessa Cigar to still get the speed lead and get the potential reset if you decide to ban the enemy speed lead. And with unit like Ethna and Wind Robo, you'll be controlling the enemy and doing a lot of damage. I see a lot of Ethna being drafted to counter more so that you can use the Ethna to stun the more and stun the enemy stripper essentially and provide immunity with your Wusa or Shizuka. Sonia with the recent buff in the balance patch is really good with Vanessa because you are getting the turn one, you are taking away one counter to Sonia which is Vanessa and Sonia can one-shot enemy Chung Peng, Oliver, Shizuka. LD unit are very weak against Sonia, like Tian Lang, Neptus, they're usually slower than Sonia. Sonia can be built with speed crit rate attack, and she will only need about 1600 bonus attack to ignore defense most things in the game, unless they are built specifically to counter Sonia, then that guy deserves a win. But from my personal experience so far, after a week of playing with Sonia, my Sonia has 1600 plus attack, and she ignores defense all the time and it is much easier to build her with speed crit rate attack now to get higher speed on her. So Sonia, a very good unit in this draft. I'm so also putting Sakmet in there because you are using Vanessa. You gotta use high base speed unit trying to outspeed the enemy, reset them, stun them, and you're good to go. Vanessa will also be good with Camilla. I think I need to put Camilla in the water department as well. So you have two Valkyrie that works really well with one another because you have one strip defense break and you have Camilla to freeze them. And Camilla with high speed lead is going to be amazing because she moves all the time. Next up, we have the Chiwu Gani Wusa core. So this is also a very popular core team for many players who like to take it a bit slow with Gani Hathor combo. So in the past, Gani Hathor is heavily countered by fire unit. But with the two pioneer here, they, they deal with a lot of counter of the Gany Hathor. So if they're trying to pick Monkey to deal with Gany Hathor, then Hathor will control the entire enemy team and Wusa protect the Gany Hathor combo and do damage to the Monkey. And when you want to build this combo, they usually last pick unit that counter the Gany Hathor as well because they work great with Gany Hathor. And because Gany Wusa works really well together as well, so you have perfect immunity all the time or you have perfect control all the time. And with a chill buff to have glancing, it is much stronger for Chiu to counter the unit that counter Gany Hathor as well. So you will see people who pick Praha instead of Hathor sometimes because Praha is like a sort of mid-range Hathor. The control is not as good, but you have more healing. And the LD unit that usually go with it will be Doman or Tian Lang to counter the unit that counter Gany Hathor. So they will need some sort of raw damage to kill the unit that is immune to sleep. And you will see Gany Hathor being picked with the unit counter Gany Hathor like Monkey, Bird, um, Douglas, Juno, Last very frequently as well. This is a very simple team. You know, you go and you control them. Sometimes it is actually a faster way to play on tier because the moment people fail to the combo, they quit instantly because they know they're not going to be there for another 10 minutes trying to hopefully violent prop out of it. So sometimes it is actually a very fast way to play because people quit instantly. So this is another core team that you can run for yourself. Next up, we have another different version of Cigar team, but you will probably pick a speedy with your Cigar. So we have more Vanessa going on over here. And then we see a lot of Camilla, Monkey, and we have a mid-range team. So you always draft a healer in the middle. So it can be Riley, Wusa, Rakuni, whatever healer you are using. And I'm also seeing the rise of Shiho because when you run Vanessa, you want some sort of damage and you want strong single target control. So Vanessa in these core Vanessa team is usually built on Swift because it is easier to get Vanessa to outspeed unit you know, like Cigar and Monkey to provide the first single target strip and maybe the only strip that you need against the enemy team. And that will allow Vanessa to prep for the damage dealer to follow up like the Camilla or the monkey or whatever damage dealer you are trying to use with Vanessa. And then with the passive revive and the healing, this is a great mid-range option team. Next up, we have the people that don't have any speed lead. They like to go turn two. Somehow come to bless them with only turn two units. 
so you have to play turn two you will have carno as the main unit you will see a lot of this in swc as well a lot of key carno player they go carno and then they go unit that can gain attack bar while you are being attacked so the key to playing good turn two is to draft unit that actually do something when you are not taking turn one unit that can either revenge or gain attack bar or self cleanse that is very very important don't pick unit like riley and only musha all the time they are like counter pick pick unit that can gain attack bar so here we have Gyo that gain attack bar trying to slap the karma on the oliver or the chung pung with the spare rune they can stun as well juno gain attack bar with revenge monkey king is very good as well i totally forgot i think we need to have like hey gang in here because hey gang can help you gain attack power with unit of self cleanse and we need to have monkey king in here as well because he's immune to stuff so when you go turn to remember always draft unit that can get something while the enemy team is moving antares is a very popular example but more rng so why do i put the only musha and unit like annabelle in there that doesn't really gain anything while you are not taking a turn because when enemy smell the smell that you're going straight into turn two, their sort of control team, like they're, they're, this setup that they're using might not be as good against heavy passive. They will go into like the Thessalian, the Shizuka. They might pick like a Wusa because they try to protect the team against your stupid passive. Then you will need to pick unit like Annabelle to provide some healing because they are not going heavy control anymore. So unit like Annabelle can come out by healing and defense break unit like Onimusha who gets stronger as the game progress can be used as well because they are trying to bruiser you you need to have counter bruiser option as well I think Molong and Icarus can be put in here as well but I totally forgot about Molong but we'll discuss about Molong after this too so next we have another kind of turn two that don't have Karno but you do have Monkey and Camilla these two units will be the core damage dealer of your turn two draft because Camilla can self cleanse very good against wind unit like Sigar, Chengpeng, Charlotte Monkey is good against almost any turn one team because he gains speed and he gains damage all the time and that's where you bring in Gyo to disrupt the enemy turn one and you bring in Rakuni to heal your team and also give these bruiser more turn and the last pick can be so many different things depending on the enemy element if they're going no healing whatsoever Leo can be a very strong last pick all the time like if you have the first pick as a second pick you pick in two unit your last pick can be Leo Douglas almost all the time because they are absolutely amazing against turn one unit depending on the band that you're going with if you're seeing a lot of AOE debuff you can go with Veramos Juno but the moment you pick Veramos remember to ban the enemy attack power reduction unit so that your Veramos can do the Veramos thing so a lot of people pick Nephthys but they forget to pick a strong follow-up like they'll be going with this kind of setup they'll pick Nephthys somewhere in between but they somehow don't pick any attack power reduction unit they're trying to pick damage dealer so Veramos being on the field completely nullify Nephthys so remember to do that as well and if they don't pick any cooldown decrease increasing unit for example they don't pick any Gany they don't pick any Chengpeng Cigar they don't pick any cooldown increasing unit it happens remember to always have a strong AoE that with one violent proc will turn the tide against the enemy like Shizuka, Annabelle, Karno very good strong AoE unit they can just need to violent proc out and you win and you'll be telling me Sean why are you telling me to rely on RNG but RNG happen take your chances it may happen one violent proc on Shizuka happen all the time and it will turn the flow of the team so this is a ragdoll base comp even though I'm talking about LD5 but you will see this very often they will start off with either Wusa or Riley you can instantly smell the ragdoll coming because they're not leading in with Karno they're not leading in with Monkey they're leading in with a healer you can really smell the ragdoll coming so when you fight these things remember they love using their vert you can steal the vert from them so if you're picking let's say Mora Chengpeng pick more vert if you're picking Sargara Kano you pick Sagara vert okay steal the vert from them so you don't have to deal with that nonsense and always build a couple unit with zero speed zero stack damage or sustain the unit Laika Belenus uh whatever whatever you want to use okay Carlos whatever damage dealer Daphne Kali whatever nonsense that can one shot the ragdoll or the leo build them with zero speed on will nemesis or violent will or just will them okay and make them very tanky or make them hit really hard and it'll be perfect against this kind of team because it is very popular because everyone loves buying ragdoll account it happens
And then another key team that you see with Neftis user is Neftis Tiana. They always go with Riley and then these units after that. Why? Because these units will destroy the counter to Neftis. We know how to counter Neftis. We pick units like Veromos and Juno, and they don't have the damage to kill the Kinky. And if you're trying to pick Duckless, there's the Riley attack buff to cover that, and Tiana can crit Duckless anyway. So remember, if this team come up, you either have to ban the Neftis or you ban the subsequent pick and pick Neftis counter. Okay, and this is some team that you will have to see what you have in your box because there are many ways to counter it. You can also outspeed it. If you have a faster base speed unit that can stun the Tiana, you will also have a good chance. But because they always have a Riley in there to try to play the long game, so outspeeding can be an option, but some people are very confident in their Tiana speed. So there are many ways to play around this. You need to uh, go into the match and see what works and what doesn't. And I think there are increasing number of people who use Neftis Tiana Core. But then they, they also have a bunch of broken LD5 after that. So it's kind of hard to play against them. And let's talk about some basic counter pick. So this is like, oh, you are trying to stun me and push back my attack bar. You always have the option to go fire Pure Vanilla Cookie if you have that unit. And it will be the biggest pain in the ass for anyone who's trying to run this kind of team. They hate fire Pure Vanilla because of the anti-attack bar reduction property in the passive. And Vert, Leo, very popular. If they don't have any cooldown increasing unit, then Josephine is going to be absolutely terrifying to these people. Juno is always there as well. So these are like great last pick. Another group of last pick because there are a small amount of player who still play Cleave. When it comes out, you don't have a counter player, you lose instantly. So remember to maybe ruin up some unit. You either run high base speed trying to counter cleave because the cleave buffer are mostly Draco and unit that have like a 105 base speed that range. So you can outspeed with two high base speed unit and a speed lead like Samav or Vanessa trying to outspeed them, kill their damage dealer, you're good to go. Or if you want to survive, you pick unit like Kinky, Nana, unit that can revive and do damage to the enemy. Or you have to pick some sort of reviver and build that unit in a specific way to counter the cleave. For example, Triana, if you see single target damage like Odin, Kali, you go in with a Triana with high damage reduction against fire and you go triple HP build. Or if you want Nat 5, you Ela Drill as well, very good counter cleave unit that you may need to build. And because they use triple HP build, they probably won't contest room with somebody else. These are the great fire last pick. Let's say the first four unit on from the enemy are two, two win and two fire. These fire unit last pick can be really, really good because they can't really deal with these units. They have solo potential or they counter the entire team or it's very hard to deal with. These are like some of the great fire last pick that you can always use. So let's say you pick uh, more Chung Pung Win Robo. Then you pick, they pick a bunch of wind units for some reason. You slap two of these down and they'll be in shambo. Some of the wind unit last pick you can use as well. Monkey King, when you see a lot of water, they have so much trouble dealing with Monkey King and then he will stun the entire enemy team. Or they run out of water to try to counter you. Like they run a lot of Tetra, Josephine, Nana, Camilla, whatever. Then Charlotte's going to be a great AoE control. Fang Yen with a buff is also very good. Last Wind Tang. Leo is great. Diana is great. Because Diana can also take turn in between. Very amazing unit. These are some of the great water last pick to counter the entire fire draft they're going. If they go like three fire, one water, then you pick two of these in the last pick and they'll be in shambo as well. Herney is very underrated because she has defense break and oblivion and healing. She's like a mini Annabelle but with oblivion. Very, very good unit for the last pick potential and two of like water bruiser like you pick Camilla and Suiki or Abelio Suiki or Chao, Varad, Chao, Teor. All these combination two water last pick can be very good against a heavy fire draft and because people always make mistakes in drafting and you can really capitalize on that by drafting two strong counter element and some of these units are the the ld4 star people use all the time in rt as well and these this is like a great one shot unit great against leo calm great against bruiser calm great for last pick in your cc team kinky is great because we all know how kinky solo people and win robo is just one of the best ld4 star in the game for rta whatever stripper you are using you can throw in a dark robo in there and dark robo is just terrifying to fight against when it comes with like a zibala for cooldown reset when it comes with whatever okay Win dark robo is just absolutely busted all right before we end this 
RTA presentation, let's play a quick game and I'll talk about the thought process of an RTA player when we play RTA. So a normal person without crazy stupid LD, without G3 top tier and they can, they can pick whatever they want. A normal person when they draft in RTA, you need to learn what this first pick from the enemy can turn into what team. That's how you counter them properly. And when you pick a unit in RTA, it will either need to counter the enemy or work with your team. So he pick a Shizuka first. He might go for a turn two position here. Shizuka is very weak against cooldown reset unit, especially unit that can fully reset the enemy, like Cigar, Oliver, Gany, Sekhmet. Or Shizuka is very weak against Juno as well. So he's picking two water and a blank element. So a wind unit is really good right now, but usually our banner ragdoll he is solidifying his turn two position. I don't need to go for more speed lead to go for more stripping so let's say i'm going with a chung Pung, and because i'm too heavy in wind control right now i might need to go with another water control unit like let's say i'm gonna pick a tayor in this position so right now i have two aoe strip one single target strip and a strong follow-up like tayor it can be on swift preferably i would love for tayor to be on violent but swift is gonna do just fine I don't know why he picked this unit because you are getting out sped and if he doesn't pick he's gonna go with a wind unit to weaken my tail control because the Masha would be weak to tail so right now I will ban the ragdoll and trying to get my turn one position and because he's not having any fire a wind unit is gonna be very impactful in the last slot so we're gonna pick a wind robo here on a mediocre swift but it's more than enough to counter any violent unit I'll ban the ragdoll and he will have to ban the wind robo but I'll keep my speed lead, I'll keep my cooldown reset and the freeze I'm having. So in theory, if I don't miss any of my strip, I should have this game in the bag. But let's see what happened here. We're going to go first because we have speed lead. We're going to go for the strip. We get the strip. I'm going to go for another layer of strip here to get the Dominic as well. We get two experience stun. We're going to fully reset the Shizuka so that she doesn't do stuff to my team. And I'm going to try to push back the enemy attack bar as well. Get the freeze over here. And now they are fully controlled and I have another layer of push pack here to control them even further. So now the Shizuka is stunned as well. I'm going to defense break the Shizuka to prepare for the tail damage. The Shizuka is fully reset so I can kill her and let her out of the stun because she doesn't really do anything. And in this meantime, I will try to kill the rest of the enemy team while the Shizuka is not going to do anything, especially the damage dealer like this unit so his team has not taken a single turn because i fully control him and now he managed to get a violent proc but because he got reset very important to get cooldown reset in your team then he will lose and that's pretty much it all right guys thank you so much for watching this rta educational video i hope this was helpful to you and i hope that i can make more of this if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye